Hey guys, it is December 31st, 2017, and normally I weigh myself on the first of the month, uh, but I'm going to a New Year's Eve party and I am going off keto and I have to weigh myself today because I know my weight is going to be totally inflated tomorrow. So I just got off the scale and my mind is blown. I am so flipping excited. But before we get into my current weight, I wanted to do a recap, a year in review. It is 12 31 2017, and I've actually been tracking my weight on and off since 1 1 2017. Like, you know how we do every year. Everyone's like, I'm gonna lose weight this year. I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna be better. So I was like, I'm gonna start on January the 1st tracking my weight and I'm gonna track it every month. I made a, I made a paper. I'm gonna track it every month and I'm gonna see my progress over the year. So I started doing it in January. Uh, in February I tracked and in March I tracked. And then of course the year you know, just went to hell and I stopped doing it. I fell off my resolution and I didn't actually track again uh, for another, what, five months? Uh, but around September 1st, that's when I discovered the ketogenic diet and that's when I started keto on September 1st. So I made a plan to start tracking again and start using keto as my weight loss method and see where the year or the last few months of the year took me. So guys, on January the 1st, 2017, I weighed 232.5. That is the highest I've ever been in my adult life. It was a really low point figuratively, high point literally, like I should have never weighed that much. It was horrible, uh, but that's where I was. And I was determined to start from there and to get back on track. So skipping all the way to September, just because, you know, my weight had gone up and down and for a lot of those months I didn't even track, uh, but my starting weight was 232.5. My starting weight on keto was 211.6. So for the first nine months of the year, I actually did lose 20 pounds, which was good, which is better than not losing. But you have to remember that me being even over 200 is still way higher than I should ever be. Like. I mean, normally my weight was around 200, even when I got to 200. I remember thinking, oh my gosh, I'm tipping 200. I can't do this. So to start at 232 was a tragedy, uh, but even to get down to 211, I couldn't really feel proud of myself because I was still higher than I should have been. So 211.6 is where I got to on September the 1st. So if you watched my previous video, which I'll link to it here, uh, my weight for December the 1st was 193.4. So even from September the 1st to December the 1st, I had lost 18.1 pounds. So in those three months, I lost the same as it took me the whole first nine months of the year to lose. So I was so proud of my progress even then. Uh, also after Thanksgiving, I had gone off plan. So to even still be losing and to be under 200, to be well in the 190s at that point, I was so happy, I was so proud. So today, I just wanted to be in the 180s. I was just like, if I'm 193.4, I can definitely go the whole month of December on plan. I didn't go off plan on Christmas. We had a breakfast theme, which made it a lot easier because most breakfast food is keto anyway. So I stuck to it, I exercised, I did everything I was supposed to. And don't you know, <laughs> when I stepped on the scale this morning, December the 31st, I was 178.4. point four. I just straight up skip the 180s. Like, who needs who needs the 180s? Oh god! Like, 
That's a 15 pound loss for December, first of all. I went from 193 to 178. That is 15 pounds in one month. To be honest, I don't know how I did it. I don't know what I did. I just ate the freaking keto diet. I had eggs, I had bacon, I had sausage, I had cheese. I mean, I had ground beef. I don't know what I did, but I stuck to the plan and the plan works, fam. Ah. <laughs> So like, I am pumped right now <laughs> and there's pretty much nothing you can say to bring me down. I am on cheat day full effect. I don't care. I've already had two donuts today. Come at me, bro. Like today is going to be a day where I just eat all the sugary stuff that I know is bad for me, but tastes good. And that's all right. Because you know what? If this day won't matter a year from now, then don't sweat it. And that's the thing, I'm gonna get right back on it tomorrow, but today, I'm gonna have my sweet treats, and I'm gonna have a good time, and I'm not gonna worry about a thing. Also, that means from January 1st, 2017, to December 31st, 2017, I lost 54.1 pounds. Who? I am the most proud of myself as I have been, what, I don't know. When have I felt like super proud of myself? I don't remember and that's a shame. But those days are gonna be happening more frequently from now on because I'm gonna keep going. I mean, what, at 178? I mean, I'm trying to get into the 150s. So there's still more work to be done, but this year has been a success thanks to the keto diet thanks to just the shift in your mindset that it causes you to have. I'm super proud of myself. I'm super excited for 2018. Thank you for watching this video. If you wanna to continue to see more weigh-ins, more times of me crushing the scale, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. Also like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you did this year. You know, look back, reflect. How has 2017 been to you? I want to know. Also, if you want to see my cheat day or what I'm doing today, I'm vlogging. So go ahead and check that video out as well when I post it. And I'll link to that somewhere here as well. But I'm out. Thanks for watching. Have a merry new year <laughs> and I'll catch you in 2018.